Hello everyone, this is Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations. And today is October 13th. It is Sunday and I hope everyone had a good weekend. And if you're working and you're off tomorrow, I'm hoping, I hope that you're enjoying your three day weekend because we are off tomorrow. So <laughs> office is closed, I'm so excited. Uh, let's see, hold on, I'm trying to get, I bought this yarn and it's kind of splitting a little bit. I'll have to show you that in a minute. Uh, this video is about donations. I got two boxes here that I would love to share with you. Um, I've been getting donations in uh, a few times previous to this, but some of the items that were in there, I I went ahead and took because she was going through them and separating everything. And man, I, I didn't take any pictures. So I explained to her that I kind of like to do a video really quick. And if she wouldn't mind waiting for me to get a video of everything done if at all possible it's october and we're already doing um our program to provide gifts and you know hats and scarves and stuff to the children who are in dcfs care so with that being said <laughs> i do have two small boxes here of items to show you so if you didn't see what you sent to uh, me for webster it's because it went straight to them so that they can get everything sorted out because we're kind of running out of time we have a deadline in order to get everything turned in so it can be packaged and set aside per family um you know according to their needs but anything that you guys can do is greatly appreciated uh and if you can't send anything out do anything that you want to do to your local with any of your local charities would i'm sure they'll accept anything even if you just have something sitting around the house that's gently used they would love to have it. Trust me. I, I, you know, I work with these agencies on a daily basis, you know, Monday through Friday. So anything that you guys can do in your area with your charities would be great, greatly appreciated. Um, there's just going to be, you know, it's unfortunate, but there's so many people out there that really don't have hats and scarves and, you know, bibs and diapers and wipes and, you know, just essential things that are just like second nature to us or or an afterthought. Um, some people can't even come up with the money to buy those items or get them. So thank you so much for your help. Uh, I would like to thank all of my subscribers who have been with me from the beginning. I appreciate you and welcome back to my channel. All you new subscribers, you guys are awesome. Thanks for stopping by and liking what you see and hitting that subscribe button. Um, this yarn's really making me crazy right now. I don't know what I did to it. So anyway, um, all of my social media information if I remember, because I think I did a video and I didn't put anything and they're like, you didn't post anything in the, in the stuff. I don't, I don't know where to, <laughs> where to go to, <laughs> for the pattern or something. And I thought, oh, well, yeah, I guess that would be helpful, wouldn't it? <laughs> Sometimes my brain doesn't stop working, but it doesn't think about little things like that. I just got to remember to put it in there. Okay, so I'm having a little small issue with this yarn. So you remember the yarn that I purchased? Um, this beautiful, oh my gosh, this beautiful squishy yarn. It made such an awesome hat. I mean, I made the hat. It's Everything is still packed in my car. So I just finished up with a craft show yesterday and I didn't unpack anything because uh, I need both tables. I need my my clothing rack. Everything that's in my the back of my car right now, it's for Saturday. So I just figured I would just leave it in there and I'll just add to it. I have an empty bin. So I brought the empty bin in the house and that's what I'm going to fill up um, the items that I make for this week in that bin. And then I'll just add that to the car. But I, I just thought, you know, it would be silly to take that out. I, I drive a totally different vehicle for work. So that one can just sit in the garage and <laughs> fully loaded because <laughs> it's full. And I can just, you know, I'll just worry about that later. How about it? <clears throat> the other stuff that I have to, to fill up. And I still have enough to fill up both tables because I had three bins of cowls and scarves and, um, not scarves, cowls and hats. <laughs> oh, the bandana cowls that I've been making. 
or that I've made. I haven't made any in a minute, but I I've, I've got the bag in the up here. I'm Oh, I thought there was a spider on there. I killed a spider today. They've just been bugging me. But anyway, I'm going to get the that chunky yarn that was given to me. I'm going to get that down and make some more bandana cowls so I can take those and maybe some hat and scarves if I have enough. I think there's like one or two colors in that bot in that bag that would make um a hat and a scarf together. So, and I was thinking maybe a um divine cowl and the hat to go with it because it'll be quick since it's chunky and it won't take me a long time. I've just got a lot to take care of. And um, Jack and I are going on a little trip at the end of the month. So I just want to make sure that we have everything that we need and that I've, <laughs> that I've already packed my bag, okay? I'm just saying. I've already packed my bag. Um, I'm, so the biggest thing for me right now is to decide whether I'm going to take stuff to do amigurumi while I'm traveling in the car or something like a hat and a cow set. <laughs> something that doesn't require that I take eyes with me and polyfill. But then I tell, it's just Jack and myself, so I've got the whole back seat, so I can like set it up where I've got the bag of polyfill, my bag of my yarn, and then, um, you know, my eyes are, they're small enough so I can keep those in my bag that I have up front with me, so. And I don't even have to take the polyfill because a lot of times, if I make something, I just make it and um, put it back in the bag. I allow myself enough to sew it up with after I put the polyfill in when I get back home. So, hmm, I don't know. Either way. Um, does anyone do amigurumi in the car when you're traveling? Or do you just take something easier so you don't have to worry about filling it up and getting polyfill fragments all in your car? Because that's what I'm worried about. And I'm just thinking, I don't have to fill it because it's not like I'm going to a show. I'm going to visit with some family. And when I come back, all I have to do is fill it and sew it up. The eyes are already beyond their face, whatever. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? What have you done? Let me know in the comments below if you do amigurumi while you're traveling long distance. I mean, this is going to be like a, this is a day trip. Like, it's going to take a day to get there. So, um... Let me know what you guys do. Because I'm really wanting to do some amigurumi because, you know, I still have shows when I get back. But um, it's also winter and I love doing, like, I, you know, I need to stock up on my Shrek hats because I had to make three more yesterday. Um, I had seven orders and I've gotten four of them taken care of. So three more to go and I'm good. <laughs> but I'd like to get some of those, like my, my Grinch hat and the Beetlejuice hat and the Shrek hat right now. I don't have any of those in stock. So I'm, I don't know. I'm just debating on what would be the most beneficial thing to do. Of course, I'm going to do what I'm going to do, but um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. And I was just watching Rose from Rose Likes Crochet. <laughs> I swear we're on like the same same yarn buying wavelength. I purchased some yarn uh, very similar to hers, even the Beanie Boos. We've got the same, she got the same little purple cow like I did. This little guy right here, he's so cute. This one's still my favorite. Um, so, and I have yarn. Oh, I was going to show you guys the yarn that I have for him. Oh, you'll just have to see it when it's done because I do have it. And um, not tomorrow. Tomorrow I have something planned. But Tuesday when I get home from work, loveys. I'm going to make a couple of more lovey blankets to go with those. Okay, so before I show you the, the donations, um, this yarn, so it's three. This, this is why I like it, though. I mean, it, it's coming apart, but there's three of them, and it's woven together to make you know one strand so see a few of them are and it but it doesn't I mean it doesn't shed look at this I mean I'm just tugging on it it doesn't shed at all it's just coming apart right there it's where it's woven really nicely I made that hat and I'm telling you guys I love that hat I love it so I'm gonna get this one started 
that's a five millimeter this is a little bit small let's see if it'll do it because i really liked it i made a bucket hat um i made one for my son as you well know and then i thought oh when this comes i'm gonna do the same thing so um i'm gonna just start this and see if it's gonna make any difference um no not really i mean it still works up this is small, so the stitches are going to be a little tighter. The, the hook is small. I think with the other one, I used like an L hook or something. What hook did I use? I don't know, but it's it's working up okay. Definitely not a sm um, not a, um, a five millimeter. Hmm. So anyway, um, I'm going to put 12 in here real quick just so I know it's gonna be working okay. So I can get to the woven part. Oh yeah, this is good. I lost count, hold on a minute. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. One more, and now it's stuck on my foot, hold on. I had the yarn, I had the yarn out everywhere. Oh my goodness, you guys, that's too funny. Now, I don't know what I did, but now it doesn't want to close up. So I'm going to put my finger in there. Anyway, what's everybody been up to today? Has it been kind of a laid back Sunday for you? Or did you like have yard work to do? I really don't know what I did here. There we go. Nope, I'm going to have to pull it out. I don't know what I did. It got stuck on something. <sighs> This isn't even Friday, y'all, and I'm frogging stuff. I don't know what I did. We'll figure it out later. Oh, well. I thought maybe I'll just do it. Okay, so my first box, it's a shoe box. It is from Lisa from Wisconsin. And, oh, <laughs> she she had a special order from me. I'm going to move this yarn over here so it's out of the way. Um, I made her a custom B. And she said these items are for Webster. Thank you, Lisa. Let's see what's in here. Oh, she's a knitter. I can tell you already. Look at this. Let's see what these are. Oh, she made bibs. Look. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. That is adorable. I, I can't even ask you what the pattern is because uh, this is knitted and I don't knit. But that is so soft. Oh my gosh. Lisa, these are great. So she did reach out to me and ask me what we were um, in short supply of. And we never seem to have enough bibs. I mean, we always run out of pull-ups and diapers and wipes and baby food. But bibs are something that the mothers are always requesting. Bibs or... Um, uh, uh, Burp rags. Yeah, just don't seem to get very many of those. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Again, she's these are knitted. That is just adorable. I know we can get a variation for, for, um, look at this for crocheting. Oh my gosh. And it feels like cotton. Oh yeah, this is definitely cotton. Oh, I love this one. This one is crocheted. Look at that. I love that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I love this yarn. I made a dress out of this yarn before, and it's just as pretty. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, that stitch. I like it. Huh. Yep. Okay. Oh, a divine hat. She made a divine hat. Look, look. A pretty green one. Oh, and it's nice and thick, too. Another bib. These bibs are, that's just cool. I mean, look at that. That is so, so cool. Oh. Look at this hat. Look at that pom pom. That's amazing. I I really just wish I could take up knitting, but I don't know, one of these days. Oh, look at that. 
Look at that stripe. Now, would that make a great sweater? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I love knitted sweaters. I mean, I don't knit, but oh, a knitted sweater would just be so awesome. Um, I'm going to crochet me a cardigan. I've got an idea for a cardigan. This is so cool. Look at that. Hmm. And there's, oh, that one's really pretty. I don't know what kind of yarn that is, but wowzers. Wow, thank you so much, Lisa. Three, four, five. So she had six hats. Wow, in this shoe box, you really know how to pack a box. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight bibs. Wowzers. In this box. Thank you so much. That is so awesome. All right, I've got one more, one more box. And this one is from, um, hold on, I just, um, oh, Connie, hi, Connie. This is Connie. All right, hi. Here's some donations for Webster and a bag of yarn for you as well. Take care, hugs. Connie and Candace. thanks, thanks, and thanks. Oh, I love it, look. That is so cool. So it looks like baby, oops. I know how to open a bag. Baby Burnett, Burnett Velvet, three and a half ounce ball. Oh, look at that. That's adorable. These are, oh, I don't know. This would be, yeah, this is good scrunchy. Look at that. That one's nice and thick. That might be a um, a stingray. Thank you so much, guys. So there's three gray and then that turquoise and then a pink one. Thank you so much. Let's see what's in here. Oh, she's using her sheen bag. Sorry about the rustling. There are two bags in here. I'm going to put that right there. I, I keep that for stuffing. All right, so I'm gonna open these bags up. Put this in here, I did not one up as well. Okay, so here we go. Oh, here's a hat. Oh, is this, is this crocheted? Is this that, um, oh, I don't know. First I thought it was the star stitch. Whatever this is, it's really cool looking. And I love these colors. Okay, let me grab an, oh, right there. A cowl. Wait, am I right? Yes. How cool is that? I think it's. Oh, <laughs> look at this little hat. Look at this little hat. Oh my gosh. Adorable. Look it. Oh, and this one's so soft and fluffy. So, so soft. Oh, they just get better. Look at that. Oh. Oh, a ponytail holder, or a ponytail holder. Um, a mussy, mussy, a mussy, a messy bun hat. Say that five times. I can now, but we won't talk about that. Ooh. This one has, wait, can you see them? Can you see those sparkles? Look at that. And I just love the way knitting looks. I'm telling you, that is just cool. Oh, like a bonnet. Oh, I love this. This one is probably my favorite one so far. It is so cute. It's like, it's like a bonnet. I love it. I love that so much. Red, white, and blue. Boop, boop. Look at that. Oh, there's a little hole. Look at that. Ooh. This is nice yarn, too. Look at how pretty those are. That color. It's got little specks of color in it as well. Okay. All right. So that bag had one, two, three, four four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. Odd. Ten hats and a cowl. Oh my gosh. Now the little one. Oh, this is a blanket. Baby blanket for Webster. Oh, look at how cool. And it's super soft, you guys. Oh, some little boy or girl's going to love it. They're just going to love it. Oh, how awesome. Man, that's soft. I'm going to put this back in the bag. Get in there. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is just so sweet. Oh, I will take these to work with me on Tuesday and get everything distributed out in our donation room and get ready for the holidays. So... Thank you guys, I appreciate you more than you know. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna, I am really gonna, I'm gonna let you guys go, it's already been 21 minutes, but let me see if I can, let's see if we can get this done. I love the magic circle, you know, my kids do not like doing the magic circle at all. I like it. Amanda, I think might, she might have it now, but she was just like, I don't like it, I don't like doing it. I was like, look, it's really not bad. Now, look, I just realized. Oh, I have to do it again. All right. So I'm going to do magic circle. Here we go. I'm going to see if this will. Because this is. The other one was coming out as well. Like the strands were coming out. But I was still able to salvage it. Because it wasn't as. Um, it wasn't as long as this one. And I thought, oh, I don't know. So we'll see. All right, we've got two. I just love the colors in this yarn so much, you guys. And when I saw it, I had to have it. I'm still looking on Sheen and Timu um, and Amazon for the, the um, what, what did I say it was called? Yellow, blue, and black that I made for my son. Because I've got enough yarn. I, I as you know, I started <clears throat> excuse me i started a blanket but <clears throat> how is it that this is oh my goodness gracious you guys i just can't do this while i'm talking to you because i just keep messing up I'm like why is that why does that look so weird all right i'm gonna cut it i'm sorry it's driving me crazy i can't do it so where did i start we're gonna cut it right here I mean, I thought I'd be able to use it, but it's just getting tangled up. So, all right, here we go. I will give this to Jordan. I'll like maybe take the three strands away and give it to her or use it for something else. I mean, it's not bad. I just, and I love the colors, but it's kind of hard to work with when, um, but just just for that, just for doing that that one part, because I said that I wanted to make another hat, right? So in order to do that, I just thought, oh, maybe I'll salvage some of the yarn. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Oh yeah, it's so much better. And I, the green that's in here, and I mean, all the colors really are just so vibrant. It just really spoke to me. You know, I got a... Um, I don't just go and buy yarn to be buying yarn. I just have to, I don't know, It's I, I've got to want to get it to make something, which is why I've been getting rid of some of my yarn that's just been sitting. Because most of that is yarn that I just purchased and I thought, oh yeah, I'm going to make something out of it. I'm going to do it. And then I don't. And then it sits and it sits. And then I'm like, oh, I got to give this to someone else. Let me list it because someone else is going to want it or they might even have been looking for it if it was discontinued. So you just never know. I just don't want it sitting and not getting used. I think I got 12. Let me just double count this real quick. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes, so we got our 12. This made such a cool bucket hat. I don't know if I shared it with you guys, I might've, but it really did and I like it. 
And I just love the colors when you get them together. I mean, I love how it's how it comes up. I don't ever worry about the hole. That's why I allow myself enough yarn to just sew it into um, or sew the hole closed if I have to. So, yeah. And this, it just comes right off the hook with ease. It's never a problem. Um, I should, <laughs> I should get more of this yarn because I just really like it, you guys. Um, and I know a bunch of you are like, well, have you tried um, Sheen? Well, yes, I have. They have all kinds of colors in this yarn. They, they especially have these two colors, okay? I saw those two there, and they've got like a bunch of other ones. But I just wanted the, um, the red, no, not red, the blue, black, and yellow one. <laughs> Um, let's see. This is a double. Let's see, I've already messed that one up. Yeah, I, I do like working with this yarn. So anyway, I'm going to finish this bucket hat. I've got, let's see. So I got my three Shrek hats taken care of. And I also got, let's see, three Shrek hats. I got a rainbow hat taken care of. I got a rainbow frog. No. Was it a frog? I already did the rainbow frog. Not that one. It was a rainbow loaf cat. I had a rainbow loaf cat. I had four scrunchies that I needed to get done. Um, those have already been picked up. And what else? There was something else. I made, the, I made the rainbow beanie. The loaf cat. Oh, and a Grinch hat. I had a Grinch hat as well. So, and I still got plenty of like Grinch face label taggy things. <laughs> That I put on the hat and I keep forgetting that I have enough tags to put on my crochet items my especially my hats when I do my hats so it's not looking too bad so when I do my hats when I make them now and even my scarves and I'm also going to be doing my like shawls and if I get a cardigan done to sell I don't know but um because every time I make a cardigan, someone in this family takes it, which is totally fine. I don't care. Um, it helps get rid of some yarn that I've had in my stash. And uh, the kids, you know, are excited about wearing some stuff. I still think that's a blessing. And right now they're still they're still for it. So I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna keep playing it by ear and waiting for them to ask me to make them stuff. Um so yeah, I do like it. I do like using this. I got to get some loveys done. I have a whole list of things. And you know what? I've been so busy between work and doing these shows on the weekends. I just feel like I've got one full bin of um, amigurumi, right? So I'll make a, I know I'll get a few things made this week, but I'm not going to stress over not having enough items for this craft show. Because I also have, I mean, like right now, it's 60 degrees, you guys. I have the house open, and Jack was like, we might want to close a few windows because it's getting kind of chilly in here, and the heat might kick on because <laughs> it's so, it's so chilly. I love it. I love it. And he's sitting on the couch right now with a blanket on. <laughs> so, and I'm just sitting there, just crocheting away, and I'm like, oh, let me go do a video. Let me go talk to my peeps. <laughs> Let me talk to them and see what the heck's going on and let them know what's going on and show them these cool donations and, you know, these awesomely made items. And um, he was like, yeah, you might want to, you might want to close a window. I was like, okay, silly man, I'll close the window. <laughs> it's so goofy, but that's all right. <laughs> so anyway, I guess I'll get off here and move on to the living room. I think he's watching. What is he watching? I don't know. We've already gone through Harry Potter again. Oh, we're looking for the first wives club. I think that's probably what we're going to watch tonight. Let's see. Oh yeah, we can definitely get that watched before bedtime. And he has to work tomorrow, but I don't have to. Yay me. So I'm not going to. I'm going to get some stuff done. I've already did laundry, caught up on some, some cleaning, you guys. I actually got some cleaning done as well. And 
Um, I'm not sure if I told you, but I did agree to do this craft show. We're not calling it a craft show. He is calling it, he's calling it something weird. What is he calling it? Like, uh, I don't remember. It's a weird name, but like a thrift kind of thrifty, new, gently used, something to that nature. But I told him that I would do it again if I was not busy with a actual craft show. So, because it's a good way to get rid of some of your items that you have in your house that you just don't want there. So, yeah. So we're going to we're going to get it all figured out. I just look at how pretty. Look at how pretty that yarn is. It's just so pretty. All right. I'm done. I'm done talking your ear off. It's been half an hour. But yeah, I don't know the name of this yarn, but this is um, I'm going to make a bucket hat and then I'll show you guys and, uh, yeah, we'll go from there because it's, it is, I'm going to cut that off. Just get it out of the way right now. Ta-da. This one was just a little section. Now this started to do that with the other one. I think I told you with the one that I made for Nathan and it wasn't a problem, but I was using a larger hook. So it was able to grab all the yarn. So that could be my problem is that I'm using an H hook for this hat. So this is gonna be definitely a tighter stitch. Um, but man, is it soft. I love it, I love it. I don't know if I'm gonna make one like this. Let me see, let me see if I like this. I know I said I was gonna let you guys go, hold on. I've, I've had this on a few times. Um, I don't know, how did I wear it? Cause, uh, yeah, this is this is a nice hat. I might have to hold on to it. I do like it. And it's soft and squishy. I just like this is like my emotional support hat. I just feel like I'm just like, wow, I love the way this feels. It feels so great. And this one I made longer to tuck my hair under. So I made this one. Hold on, let me grab it. Tuck in the hair, tuck in the hair. And then I think that's how I, is that how I wanted it. I don't know, guys. Yeah. That was kind of cute, too. So I don't know. <clears throat> Ouch, I'm pulling my hair. I'm pulling my hair. I know I have something that this could go with, um, especially when it's chilly outside. I'm just, wow. Cause you know you're just having a stressful day and you're like oh let me just let me just feel on my my hat <laughs> anyway um i love this hat i love the colors anyway that's it that's all i'm gonna go because if not i just feel like i'm i'm uh in a talkative mood and i we will be on here for like the rest of the night so i'm gonna hop off I'm going to finish up this hat so that I can show you tomorrow. Um, don't know what else I'm going to get done because the items, as soon as I get those made, I'm, I know I'm not going to have time to do a video. <sighs> well, tomorrow's Monday. I might because there's no mail tomorrow. So if I get those items finished, I'll do a quick video or at least take a picture so that I can put them up, you know, when I do the video so that you guys can see how they turn out. <laughs> All right, all right, that's it. Now I'm really gonna let you go. Um, before I do though, <laughs> if the 13th happens to be your birthday, happy birthday to you. If it's your anniversary, congratulations. Happy anniversary to you both. And even though it's late, I hope you guys had a wonderful day today. Um, it's Sunday and if you, like I said, if you don't have to work, guess what? You got an extra day to play around and goof off. Go shopping. <gasps> Someone told me that, that there was, I think they said 88 days left. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just know that I love Christmas time and I'm excited because I put my Christmas tree up the week before Thanksgiving every year. So it's going up soon. Just like, I just feel like in a matter of weeks. <laughs> Is anyone else excited about the holidays? I love the holidays. It's fun. All right. Um, now I'm going to go. I've done the birthday wishes and the, the, anniversary wishes and yeah if I did them at the beginning of the, the 
the video. I'm doing them again. Uh, that's it for now. I did order some yarn and I don't know when it's going to be here. Um, it's already been, let's see, it's been almost a week and I did get the other. So now the only color that I'm missing, I probably told you this already, but velvet cake. I got all the other posh colors and I also bought, um, uh, what was it? I couldn't find the neon brights that Rose mentioned in her video. Um, I didn't find them on sale. I found the colors, but I went ahead and bought, they still had some $2 uh, Bernat blanket yarn and I bought a couple. I mean, I've got like a whole wall of it, right? But I bought some colors that I thought would make really cute loaf cats that weren't like really bright. So I've got the yellow and blues and pinks and all that here. But then I thought, um, how about some browns and some grays? Um, and I got another white cat so I could make a, um, like a Hello Kitty type cat, loaf cat for that as well. So, um, yeah, when that gets here, I will be more than happy to show you my yarn haul. And, uh, I believe Wednesday is when all of the yarn that I will be selling, not all, but some of it is going to be up in my shop. So just check by Wednesday if I don't do a shop update and let you know the exact day. But if you don't hear from me about that in the next couple of videos, just check on Wednesday and it should be on there. And that, my dears, is all I have for you tonight. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. I'll see you when I see you. Happy hooking, everyone. Bye for now.